Hey everyone, welcome back to your MySQL tutorial series. I'm Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video is going to be discussing referential integrity. This has to do with foreign keys referencing other columns. So when we have a foreign key, we could say it's a reference to another column. And we need to protect our references integrity. What does that mean though? It means we have to tell the database that this is a foreign key. So this is something we have to explicitly do, meaning there's no conventions that go on that automatically connect columns or anything like that. Any kind of connection across tables or across columns, we have to tell the database explicitly. If you don't tell the database, huh, you might think that's fine. We can just pretend there's a connection, right? <laughs> Let's say you don't want to use foreign keys for some reason. So you have this number over here, this ID, for example, and then you reference that ID but you don't tell the database that there's a reference, then these are separated. You can't draw the line between the two. And what that means is that there's no restrictions on the data you're allowed to use. So for example, I could make a reference to 198, and even though there's not a 198 over here, that's okay. That's because the database doesn't know any better. To the database, it's just a number. It also means we could just get rid of this row, and the database isn't going to care this 37 is still going to exist over here. This throws our references integrity into question because we can have a reference, but we don't know if it actually points to anything. For example, this one, it points nowhere. So how are we supposed to know which ones point somewhere and which ones don't point anywhere? That's what I'm talking about with integrity. If you don't have data integrity, you can't trust your own data. And if you can't trust your own data, your database is not worth anything. <laughs> that might be a little harsh, but seriously, get your data integrity. We need to tell the database explicitly using the foreign key constraint. We'll get into the syntax on how to do all that soon, but just know for now that when there is some kind of reference, you have to do it manually. You have to tell the database what column from what table you are referencing. In addition to just telling it what is referencing what, you can do stuff such as on delete and on update. Essentially what these mean is what happens if we delete the parent or change the parent to a different ID, which by the way should never happen, but <laughs> in theory, let's say it happens. These are things you can configure with your foreign key constraint. And we'll get into how to do all of that in an upcoming video. But for now, I think that's good. I'm sure you guys understand what referential integrity is. It's when your reference can be trusted. You know it references something, you know it's up to date, and you know it's referencing the correct thing. That's what we strive for. It's impossible to have perfect integrity in a database, but we can get pretty darn close. So that's what we're going for. Thank you guys. If you like this video, please click subscribe and like. And as always, I will see you in the next video.